walked up or pulled up, I would see Kendall smiling. Now at 11, we are hearing from a friend of two of the four victims in a deadly shooting that happened at a Southeast Portland home. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. We know two of the victims are brothers from Portland. The other two are from out of state. All four deaths are being ruled as homicide by gunshot. And now let's go to our Jenny Young who talked with the neighbor tonight about the brothers also learning new details about the two men from out of state in this case. Jenny, what can you tell us? That's right, Liz. We found out they're from Texas and we worked with our news partners in Austin and found out that they both have felony convictions. One accused or convicted of armed robbery a couple of years back. Well, so far, Portland police haven't said how the brothers were connected to these two men. They were amazing. They were always out here working on their cars. Mm. They were just inseparable. This is Siki. She lives next to this house on Southeast Boise Street, where Portland police say four people were shot and killed the night of June 6th. They, they had just ordered food. They were waiting for Uber Eats or DoorDash to show up. Siki says 31 year old Mitchell Nacoste lived here. She says Mitchell's 27 year old brother, Kendall Gregg, spent most of his time here. I always knew when I walked up or pulled up, I would see Kendall smiling. The brothers were gunned down that night, along with 24 year old Donathan Linford and 23 year old Eon Willis. Siki doesn't know Linford or Willis and doesn't know why they were at the home that night. Portland police aren't telling us what happened in the moments leading up to that shooting. However, Coin 6 did find out Willis and Linford are from Texas. Court records show both men had felony convictions there. I think that they should just do justice by Mitchell and Kendall. Siki says a lack of official information has rumors swirling, and that's upsetting to the people who knew and loved Kendall and Mitchell. People who didn't know them personally are like, oh, well, this could have happened because, you know, drug deal gone bad, whatever. But the people to the people who know them, it was a shock. I've spoken to some of their family and friends and they said they confirmed that the detectives on the case said that they've released no information to any sort of media. So anything flowing around is just rumors. Okay, so I did talk to a detective on the phone today trying to figure out which role each uh, man played in this, asking them who's the suspect, who's the victim, asking if they've ID'd any suspects, and they are not releasing that information, saying it's an ongoing investigation. We will stay on top of this, continue to follow it. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.